Hi, my name is Keiji, and today I have the absolute honor of introducing one of my closest friends. I've known this person since transition camp. Uh, we bonded over our love of R&B from Mary J. Blige and Lauren Hill to Stevie Wonder. Throughout these past seven years, I have admired her work ethic and determination, and I know it's gonna take her far when she goes to Texas Day in the fall. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure knowing this person and I'm really excited to see where the future takes her. Um, so without further ado, I'd love to introduce Miss Anissa Adams. Also, if she were a pet of mine, she'd be my scorpion. Hi, I'm Anissa Adams, and today I'm going to be sharing why you should flip the switch. Imagine one-year-old Anissa being told that her beloved pacifier was quote-unquote doggy snatched by the dog next door. Now, I'm not sure if this is what caused my fear in dogs, but it sure did stop me from relying on my pacifier. I was two years old when I moved into the house that I currently live in. And in the backyard, it had a giant playscape, the swing set, and a big yellow slide. And although a lot of kids have memories of playing in their backyard or outside and having a good time, I have memories of the opposite. Every time I would try and play on my swing set, no matter how quiet I tiptoed, the two boxers next door would bark at me. So as you can imagine, I ran all the way inside, all the way upstairs, and all the way to my room where I could safely play with my dolls. In second grade, I had my first sleepover. It was at my best friend's house. And at the time, my best friend had two dogs. And I did not permit myself to go over there unless she promised to lock them up. The sleepover was going great until 2 a.m. when my best friend let her dogs out on a leash. The dogs did their business, but she thought it would be funny if she let her dogs come back in off their leash. It was not funny because my mom had to pick me up at 3 a.m. and it was raining outside. In fifth grade, however, I was determined to face my fear. I went back to that same best friend's house and had a sleepover. My mom dropped me off at the door, the door opened, and the two dogs ran out. So, as an instinct and reflect, I jumped on my mom. And I was very surprised to land on the concrete. So, I made the decision it probably wouldn't have been the best idea to face my fears with a safe, with a sword tush. Now, in sixth grade, my mom showed me a picture of a black lab named Emily on Austin Dog Rescue. And I had to admit, she was pretty cute. It's not that I didn't think dogs weren't adorable. I was just really scared of them. My sister is four and a half years younger than me and she loves animals. Anytime we went over to a family member's house or a friend's house and they had an animal or pet, she would be all up on them. Later that day, my mom, my sister, and I went to go get hot cocoa. And my sister and my mom were discussing on how they were gonna convince my dad to get this black lab puppy. Now, I'm not sure how it worked, but they sure did convince him because Emmy was on her way the next week to our house. And I prepared myself by barricading a wall of pillows on the couch. When Emmy first came over, she was a little nervous, but she soon warmed up and everybody fell in love. My sister eventually convinced me to come out of my pillow fort wall thing and pet her. I pet her and it was like a switch. I instantly fell in love with her. She was calm and fluffy and just the sweetest little dog in the whole entire world. I fell in love and my dad ended up falling in love too because we ended up adopting her. Emmy turned six years old this year and she is my best friend. I know it's cliche when people say face your fears but they're not wrong. If you're afraid of dogs put yourself out there. If you know a family member, friend, or even a neighbor that has a dog and the dog happens to be sweet or nice with new people set up a play date. It just takes the smallest switch in order for you to fall in love with a dog. A dog's called a man's best friend for a reason. Like I was saying, Amy turned six years old this past um, February, 
and you should face your fears because sometimes your fears block you from things you love. My fear was blocking me from my best friend. Thank you.